All right, this one's going to be on GOW, uh, which stands for GNU on Windows. And what it does is um, installs a lot of command line programs um, that works on Linux that will work on Windows also using your command prompt. Uh, you can use any you know command prompt emulator you want, but CMD is the, the one on your system. And with this one, um, with some of the commands that they have, they don't have all the commands, but some of the common ones. So you type in GOW dash dash list. It'll list out what is you know on your system that it installs. And if you want to install this, it's just basically an EXE, and then you just you know hit next 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 to install it. So it's not a big issue. But these are some of the programs and some common ones like you know cat dd to copy. Uh, CP. What else is there? Um, they have grep, right? Where is grep? There you go, grep. And some other ones if you want to uh, get used to it, like Vim the text editor, and wget if you want to download some stuff from the command line. No issues there. But anyways, um, let's list it out here. All right. So we have some files here. I actually have a um, text file here and for example you can use cat right for um, you know displaying the stuff in the content of the txt file otherwise mainly you know you can open it with um, notepad let me see here uh -huh. right so these are you know the same text that you have when you open notepad from your um, command prompt and some other stuff is like uh, if we cat it out, we can actually pipe it, and then we can grep it. Let's say we want to grep out uh, the word software, right? Same thing like you do in Linux. So you go software. Should have that line. Oh wait up, it's case sensitive. We want to put case insensitive because sometimes you know they have a capital letter or a lowercase letter. And now I should find all the lines that has software. It doesn't matter if it's capitalized or not. Right, so that's another thing, and oh yeah, they have Vim, Vim editor. So if you want to, let me clear this first. But they have Vim editor. So let's say you want to make a new file, we'll call it um, I don't know test dot txt, right? And now you can type in with your Vim editor. <coughs> Although I, I'm not sure if a lot of people will use it because it's kind of hard to get into Vim. But let's say you want to say um, let me see here. You can screen has again, haha, <laughs> fuckers. And then let's say we save it. All the Vim hotkeys, all of them works, so no issues there. And let's say we want to copy cp test.txt, and we'll call it uh, I don't know test screencast.txt alright now should we have two of those there you go we have the one that we created originally and the one that we just copied it and if you want to remove it you can do rm um, test and I think you could put star in here right yeah you could and then I'll delete those two no issues so those are some of the commands that you would use on Linux and you know you can use it on Windows now also so it's a good tool if you want to stay on Windows and still be able to use some of the Linux commands again these are not all the Linux commands but you know these are somewhat the common ones that you can use um, and it's a very easy installer you just install it using the exe file and then you know follow the the wizard Oh, another thing with this program is that um, they do have this thing with it. So let's say you want to open a folder. Um, let's say what, what do we have in here, like music or something. Let's say this for example, you can right click on it and you say, can we open it? Yeah, there you go. Command prompt here, you can open the command prompt from here and they have that directory path, right? So same thing you can do in like a Nautilus or the Dolphin uh, file manager. 
and you can do that on here with the uh, Explorer, right? So that's what they have for GNU on Windows. Get it if you want to go command line. That's it for this one.